Here on the website for BOMA Miami Dade, there are a lot of things that can be changed from the admin of the website. This text can be changed and the pictures that go with it. Also, you can set these pictures so that if you click on them, it goes to a specific page or even something outside of the website. All of these pictures can be changed from the admin. The picture here can be changed and the video can be changed all from the admin. Now we'll look at the admin and see how that works. So here we have the admin. If I wanted to change those banners that I saw on the home page, the animation, here they are. I could set what text I want to have appear. I can set the link I want it to go to, which can be either inside or outside of the website. And here's where I upload the picture and it tells me what size that picture should be. Then I can also add pictures into the gallery, which is separate. And as you can see here, we've got 31 pages full of pictures appearing in the gallery. So they're always taking photos at the events and they add them to the gallery where everyone can see them. They also have news items, so they can put news items. You just click add new and create a news item and those appear on the website. Content would be all of the pages. So if I wanted to change the content on education, for example, I click modify and there it is. It's just a matter of typing in whatever I wanted to say here and then I click submit and that will instantly appear live on the website. And we can look at events. We have events on the website and we can set up these events. We can add a picture for the event, give it a title, uh, and then people can sign up for these events. So with a database-driven website or a CMS website or content management system website, there's really no limit to what you can do. You can have full control over that website so you never have to go back and pay a programmer to make changes for you.